say we're watching again? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? It's still one of those chick flick proposal movies, is it? Right. Lord of the Rings is an epic tale of adventure and fine carrot gold jewelry. Well, you've never seen this movie before, have you? Seen it? I own it. No, I've I've never seen it before. So what are we watching? Lord, Lord of the Rings. Oh! I love that movie. Hey, what movie are you guys watching? Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings. Oh, I love that movie. Are we the only ones that haven't seen this? Shh. It began with the forging of the great rings. <sighs> Great miners and craftsmen of the mountain hall. And then, nine rings were gifted to the race of men who, above all else, desire power. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, I'm just saying I find it a little bit hard to believe that there's not a single black hobbit. Well, I mean, has anyone seen my toothpaste? No. no. Oh yeah. You've seen it, Greg? Yeah, it's leathery, it's got black polish on it, you wear it on your feet. My, my toothpaste. Oh, I thought you were talking about your dancing shoes. No, I haven't seen your toothpaste. If you guys see it, let me know. I think I'll just have another rail. <laughs> no, you don't. So what is this movie, like one and a half, two hours? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Several ages later. Are still watching this? They must take their ring to Mount Doom, John. Let's take the ring to Mount Doom and destroy it, John. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna go to bed. I feel like there are more people out here before. No, she's been standing in Frodo for a while now, Greg. No, I mean in the living room. It's not a living room, they're clearly at Mount Doom. Oh. So how come they had to throw the ring in this volcano? Because only the fires in Mount Doom can destroy it. Yeah, but I mean, couldn't they throw it in any volcano? I mean, it's not like anybody's gonna dive into the lava to go retrieve it. I actually can't argue that logic. So, I just couldn't put the ring on and be invisible for the entire journey. Have you not been watching the movies? If you had the ring on, you would have been the entire time. Yeah, but I mean, if you had the ring on, you would have been invisible. They could have just walked him right into Mordor. One does not simply walk into Mordor, Greg.
Wow. Now that's a good ending. What? I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. What do you mean you knew it was gonna happen? Well, it was obvious from the beginning of the first movie I knew. Okay. So from the first movie, you knew that Sam and Frodo were going to befriend a deranged old hobbit who was going to lead them all the way to Mordor. He was going to betray them, trying to get the ring back from them. The lava would overflow the cave and Sam and Frodo would have to escape by eagle. And then Frodo, Bilbo, Gandalf would all leave to go to the Undying Lands and Sam would stay in the Shire and marry Rosie? Yeah, it was blatant foreshadowing. I do not understand. Hey, did you find your dancing shoes yet? Jeez. Who ate his lamb this bread? Yeah. More like, who ate his lamb this bread? That's exactly what I just said, Greg. Okay. So what are we still waiting for? The end of the credits. Why are we waiting for the end of the credits? That was just something at the end of the credits. We, we didn't make anything to put at the end of these credits, Greg. What do you mean we didn't make anything to put at the end of the credits? We, we don't have anything to put here. Like, if, if anyone's watching this, they should just shut it off at this point. There's nothing else to come. I mean, I'm still gonna wait for the end of the credits because I want to see what shows up. Greg, you helped me make this. You know there's nothing at the end of the credits. I'm being very optimistic here. You're being a pessimist. Okay, well I'm gonna go to bed. It's three yep. in the morning. Just wait, just wait one minute. I'm sure it's gonna I'm sure it's gonna come up. Nice, right.